I gotta look this up. Did I... Did I, like, turn down my music? Did I? Maybe I did. Okay, we can turn the music up. Yeah, we can turn the music up. Let's... 50, and then the voice is probably gonna be fairly loud, so let's put that as 50. Um, put effects at, let's say, 60. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, also, I guess I should mention just... Well, this isn't the Chthonia video anymore, but obviously Wolf is like... Wolf, as far as... Or the Den is super fucking useful because it's just a station you can go and offload smuggled goods and that's the place to go and smuggle off or to sell off um uh, to sell contraband because it's it's it, you don't get scanned and when you do like land at a landing zone or land at a at a city that does the scan like there's not a you don't get anything for smuggling and then selling to the trade authority there. Also, you know what? Actually, okay, one thing, one thing that really fucking annoyed me. <clears throat> this is how that this video is starting. <laughs> one thing that really fucking annoyed me. So when I was looking up, hey, where do I sell contraband stuff? Everybody said trade authority, and everybody was like, oh, trade authority. Oh yeah, the kiosks. I didn't understand that there were trade authority kiosks and trade authority stores, and everybody seemed to be saying trade authority kiosks in their guides, but that's not how that fucking works. The, the, the terminals don't buy contraband, the stores do, which maybe is a weird thing, which yeah, sure, maybe it's weird, but like, that's how that works, and nobody's saying the right thing, like, so. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole fucking thing. Also... I do I I love An Andresia, but... She is certainly... She is certainly a character. I don't know, the That is... That's, I don't know, I'm a little concerned that it's gonna get, like... That we're gonna... You know... I don't know. It's gonna go to, it's gonna go to, go to schmexy time, and I don't want it to go to schmexy time. I guess, I don't know, maybe it does feel a little belittling as an asexual to like all, <laughs> all relationships in video games have to end in, with with sex. <laughs> like that's that's your reward. It's like that's a fucking stupid reward in my mind. <laughs> The, it literally has it. I literally do not care, you know. So, you know. I I really like. I don't know. I'll eventually. I'm gonna do a let's play of, of Mass Effect, and when we get to Mass Effect Two, I don't know what I'm. I don't know. I'm kind of going towards just having no romances because I I feel like that's also probably something that not a lot of people see. Um, but I, I really like Tally. Tally's great. But holy fuck. <laughs> Tally and Garrus are, are great. I think if there's... Yeah, if there's any two... If there's any, any two companions I would I would romance, it would be Tally or Garrus. I'm trying to think who else. Oh god. Oh, you know what? Thane? Thane would be good too. Yeah. Um, sorry, what am I trying to say here? Oh, but yeah, um, Itali in particular was really weird because it's like, <laughs> if you want to have sex, we're literally going to be putting your life in danger. <laughs> like this, like look, I value your life more than the need for sex. What the fuck? Like, I don't know, like, like she really, really wanted it, I guess, so I, I guess in that situation, if it were me, if it were really, really me, if it were real, 
real Rylu in that situation, I'd be like, okay, <laughs> sure. But, uh, and then do it once and then never do it again. <laughs> oh god. But I also, like, I don't know, I also, like, knowing all of the ends of Mass Effect, I, I, I would feel bad romancing Tally, um, instead of, uh, letting her get with Garrus, because, like, I guess, I don't know if I really see the Tally and Garrus ship going on there, but... I mean, it's it would be like... <laughs> oh god, it would be like... It would be a thing, because I would be male chef. Um, <laughs> be a thing of like, your best... Like, you're going on a suicide mission with your best friend, um, and you're like, hey, if anything happens, um... I know you have the thing for- I, I know you have the thing for my girlfriend, for my partner. Um, if anything happens to me, but you make it out, I just want you to know, it's free game. <laughs> I wish- I wish that was an option. I fucking wish that was an option. Oh my god. Uh... I don't know, that- that would be a weird- that would be a weird, interesting situation. I don't think- hmm, I don't know. I feel like- I don't know, I feel like saying that also makes, like, the whole love angle sort of feel cheap or something. I don't know. It's really easy to have that, like, oh yeah, oh, that's, a, that's a pretty, um... What? What would that even be? Like, utilitarian? I don't know, I don't know, but you know, like, it's, <laughs> sorry, now I'm just, now, now I've reverted to dumb sci-fi romance tag, whatever, but, but yeah, no, I don't, I don't know, it's, seems like it would be a, seems like a, a, a thing that would be, um, seems easier to uh, say or uh, theorize than to actually put into practice, I would think. <laughs> yeah, cause well, could you imagine, like, hey, we're gonna go into this combat thing, I just want you to know... <laughs> if you die- if I die... Uh, it's, like, you got my blessing, it's not gonna be awkward, and then inevitably come back later, or survive somehow, and then, you know, it's like, oh, well, this is awkward now. Nah, but I don't know, but, but yeah, it's, uh, definitely a thing. <laughs> Ooh. I, I almost am genuinely kind of like, if there's any one achievement I, I'm okay with not getting, it would be, it would be that. Um, it would be the maximize, uh, maximum companionship level or whatever, because it's just like, now, it's like, now. <laughs> the relationship I'm interested in is, is too complicated to, uh, have in a video game. <laughs> I love you, but I don't want to have sex. <laughs> uh... You know, I, I, I know that the, um, there was a character in the Outer Worlds, um, who apparently, uh, was asexual, um, but I don't, or is asexual, I guess. Well, actually, I don't know if they survive or not. <laughs> Yeah, that was impressive shooting there. Yeah, that was more impressive shooting there. But yeah, I don't know. I'd also feel like... 
I don't know, it'd be a really, like... Uh, I mean, it'd be a really validating thing, I feel, but, like... And it was a really validating thing when I found out that that character existed. But, like, I don't know. Yeah, there's always, like, the sort of aphobia stuff that comes up, and people saying dumb shit about stuff, and... You know, getting pissed that this character doesn't want to have sex with them, or some something, or whatever. I don't know. Whoa. Also, those fucking robots are awesome. I... Uh, there's... There's so much, dude. There is so, so much <laughs> uh, I want in terms of mods, or I'd love to see in mods. I don't, like, I don't know. I'm also trying to think of, like, I say that, and you know what, the first thing that comes to mind is, like, Minecraft. It's fucking Minecraft, y'all. <laughs> Like, I, I don't have any Minecraft content on my on my main gaming channel, um, but on my VOD channel, holy fuck, I mean, like, there was a lot of streams that I didn't record before I multi-streamed, there's a lot of ones that I, I just don't have, um, or I didn't upload the VODs, because I was lazy, <laughs> um, but... Yeah, there's definitely... Some st Sorry, I'm also like, oh, you know what, let's actually test out the uh, particle beam, shall we? On... Yeah, it takes two shots... A... Level five. Lovely. I don't know why I'm picking stuff up, that's a terrible idea. Also, what am I missing? Like, one thing? Oh, and a trait! Okay. First off... Let's see... Oh, that's nice. That's also nice. Oh, Alien Liquor does that? Oh my god. Genuinely, what the- oh my god. Awesome, dude. Okay. Oh, hey. There we go. It's about to say something about Mercury and... Uh, Mercury and room temperature or something. Oh, yeah, what's... what is the temperature? Negative 231? Cool. <laughs> but I wonder... I don't know. I definitely enjoy being a nerd. <laughs> like, I think... I think I've probably mentioned, like, oh, you know... I know at some point, maybe not in this series, I've mentioned, like, copper beryllium cube. It's an alloy that's, like, as strong as steel. Um, but it's of copper and, oh, you know, beryllium. <laughs> so they don't, so people don't really use it that much. Um, because, like, I don't know if, so copper is, overall, copper, I think, is easier to work with than steel, in terms of, like, manufacturing and workability and machinability and whatever. Um, steel is- but- but beryllium is, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if beryllium's, like, necessarily harder to do?
Oh, right, the, like, they're replacing ro people with robots, cool. Isn't there like a... Just turn them off? Uh, disabled robot workforce. Oh, I guess maybe that's a little bit... Maybe not the right thing to do. <laughs> Authorize human workforce so the robots are still actually doing stuff. I don't know who the fuck decided to... I don't know. It is a... I don't know. I think... I've, I've mentioned also, the only the only thing I think AI is like, has like a really legit thing, is video games. And not necess- not like acting or art. I mean, you could use them for that, but like, just have a fucking human do it. Like, I don't- <laughs> Like, like, what the fuck? Um... Companions. Literally, like actual interactive companions or interactive AI that actually like responds and acts responds and reacts to you yeah that would be fucking awesome um I don't I don't know if uh I mean of course there's something about like you know oh sure like maybe writing voice or like using the AI for like voice acting you know at that point but then like cuz like I mean you can write really good stuff um, but having the AI just like have a you know good personality to work off of and then like sort of react and interact from there but I don't know then it also becomes a thing of like I don't know I just want the matrix <laughs> At that point, <laughs> maybe not the Matrix, but you know, <laughs> basically the Matrix. I like. I don't know. Then there, you know, then we can get into some conversation about like I don't know some existential bullshit or something. Oh, I no radio tower thing. <gasps> Wait a minute! Explores. Oh, come on! Wait, you didn't even have the right ammo for it. What the heck? Also, what the? Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> that was that was something. I also so I do like the maelstrom, but it's just hard, right? It's just hard to justify it because it does doesn't do too much damage but i also have 17,000 rounds for it so like yes pretty sensible am i gonna like oh it did spring <laughs> from like a holy ball that looks cool i don't know what planet that is but that's cool is that the gas giant? Ah, oh, fuck. I thought it was gonna have a little bit more time. Cheese. Oh, you know, I also, while I'm looking for something to give me a little bit more carry capacity... I don't know, I, I, I think I've mentioned before, I want to try making my own tofu. I don't know what all necessarily goes into the process. And like, if I wanted to, if I wanted to like, add flavor to the, uh... Oh, milk stout. That does sound kind of cool, actually. Um, but yeah, that seems like it would be an interesting thing to try. 
Oh, you know what? Also, speaking of food, uh, one thing I want to try now, uh, anchovies on pizza. I had, <laughs> we had a, I guess, I don't know, like, um, okay, my, uh, my mom got, like, some anchovies, and, cause I've, I've been having, uh, sardines, and I do enjoy a good sardine, um, and, uh, I've assumed, well, I, I was assuming that she was actually, like, got them to use for something, and then, um, she made the thing, and then it didn't, she didn't use the anchovies, so it was like, oh, okay, well, I'm just gonna eat those anchovies. And I did. And, uh, <clears throat> it was a thing. They're, they are good. They are, they are really good, but they're also very salty. Like, okay, I wouldn't say really good. They're really good, but the genuine overbear overwhelming, overbearing amount of salt makes it so much that, like, is so much that it's generally like, like, yeah, I, I ate the whole can. It was a small can. <laughs> um, but I don't know if I wanted to, I don't know if I would do that again. But having it on pizza, I think mushrooms, mushrooms, anchovies, and olives, a solid mal pizza. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, oh god, sorry, I'm just loving, I'm just falling in love with the ship over and over again. Um, until next time, have a good day, great day even. Chowskis.